Hello everyone, this is Nick from the Michigan Assistive Technology Program. Back with some AT today for the kitchen. So today we have with us four different kitchen tools that are adapted and may be useful during this time when more cooking is going on, especially using fruits or baking pies or even pitting olives or something like that sort. We have with us from left to right uh, the OXO Grape Cutter the OXO Multi Cherry Pitter, the Velika Cherry and Olive Pitter, and then we also have, lastly, the OXO Cherry and Olive Pitter. So, four choices here. I have behind that my cherries and my grapes. Um, we are going to demonstrate what that looks like when these tools are in use. And before we get into it, you know, what I really find convenient about these is that this can really save you some time and can be a useful alternative from having to use a knife or something else to pit something. You know, we're in the kitchen, so we want to make sure everyone's safe when they're using these tools. We also want to make sure we give you a tool that has some convenience for you when you're cooking in the kitchen because, like I said, it can be tedious and it can take some time to pit some of these things. So this just makes it a little easier and it gives you a variety of options. Alright, so the first tool I have is the OXO Grape Cutter. This tool comes in around $12. Um, you can find it online or in store. So the convenience of this tool is you would insert a grape in this center capsule of the grape cutter. And then at the top of the cutter we have a little button lever that you push down. So also here with me I have this low vision black and white cutting board. This is another device that we have with us in our library. So let's get a grape here and let's get the cutter. And let's really just try to show you real good on the camera here what I mean. So I have the grape in the cutter and now I just push and it does take a little and see if you notice it shot up like that so now we have a cut grape and you can then shoot it down to the cup and just to show you one more time let's do one above the cup just to show you um, so like I said it can you could have it down I find it easier to actually have it a little above so that it doesn't have to push upward um, so just to show you again that grape is cut and it's easy as that so this is a really nice tool um, I will say some pros and cons of it it makes cutting grapes easier. Um, a disadvantage of this tool is it does take some strength and pressure with your thumb. So if you are someone who may have limited dexterity, this might be a more of a challenge. Um, I really think for the price, there's a convenience of it. You know, being $12, I really like OXO brand stuff. $12, so real convenient. All right, next we have the OXO Multi Cherry Pitter. This comes in at about $22 to $24. Um, what's nice about this is it can be rested on the table. You don't actually have to hold it in the hand. And it has this chamber. It can hold six cherries at a time and pit six. And you would just press down with this and it would shoot it down into this chamber below, which is actually a little box um, below the cherry holder. So. It looks like that and then you could just pop your box out and go to cutting more cherries. I think what's convenient about this is the amount of cherries it can pit at a time and I think the disadvantage though is sometimes this chamber because this is all made out of plastic and the friction against each other it can it can jam and it can be sometimes hard to press down and sometimes I've caught in my thumb in between this so you gotta be careful um, of that but again for the price 
and for the amount it does, I really find it convenient. And I think the other convenience of it is that you don't have to hold it in your hand like some of these other pitters where you have to have the handle in your hand. So let's show what it would look like if we had some cherries in there. Let's pick the stems off of them. Put one, and you want to try to get it as straight up as possible. Let's lower it down, make sure everything is in place, nothing's out of the area that it should be in, okay? And then we will just, now I'm gonna put some pressure in this because it does take some pressure. But I could show you, I can go without trying to smash it. <laughs> it just takes some force. So you wanna try to push your palm down. And you heard that. Now if I lift up, we have four, I meant sorry, we have six cherries pitted. And if we were to open up the chamber, look at, there are the pits. So, then you just take your cherry out, put it in the bowl, and now you got six cherries for your pie or whatever recipe you're making. I find this real convenient. I just pitted six cherries. Um, like I said, this one is $24. This is available to test out in our library. Um, the pros of it, like I said, are the amount that it can pit. It did take a little bit of pressure, so I will say that is a drawback, but for the convenience of the amount that it pitted, I would say that is not the worst of all that I've seen. Next, we have the Velika Cherry and Olive Pitter. This is one that you would hold by the handle and squeeze with your hand and it would push out of this hole, the pit, and you would be left with an olive or a cherry that's pitted. This, I will say, is your standard pitter. Um, what I think are nice about these tools is, again, you can avoid having to use a knife or some sort of sharp object. Um, so this one, we're just gonna insert the cherry in the chamber and it looks like that when it's in there. And then we just squeeze. And there we go. And you got a cherry pitted. This one, I will say out of any of them, takes the least amount of force, so I think that's convenient. The downside, unlike the other cherry pitter that was just shown, is that this only does it one by one. But it might be easier in the fact that you can just load one in real quick and press and go and keep pressing and going. So it just depends your preference. I think this is really convenient. The cost is not that bad either. This tool comes in at about $8. So compared to the $24 multi cherry pitter, it's a, you know a third of the cost. It just depends your preference. All right, and lastly, we have with us the OXO cherry and olive pitter, and this is also a single pitter. The difference with this between the Velika single pitter and the OXO is this is a little smaller and lighter. Also, the chamber is clear so you can see the pit come right through. Um, this is about $15, so about double the cost of the Velika. But there are small details that are different that I think make it nicer and make it worth the cost. So let's get into it and show you what it would be like to pit a cherry. Take the stem out, and then just like the Velika, we're gonna place it. And this one, what I like about this, is it has more, instead of a sort of bowl-like shape that holds it, it kinda has this clamp-like shape that keeps it more in the actual chamber. Just like the Velika, you would just squeeze with your hand And if you notice, the pit didn't fall out. It actually, this is, if you notice the pit didn't fall out, it actually stayed in this chamber. 
This chamber works really well for that reason. It actually is able to keep it more in without having it fall everywhere and the juice spill. So that is another advantage of the cost. Um, like I said, a little less pressure you had to apply compared to the Vuica. Um, and this is just a more convenient single pitter, I think, between the two. All right, with that said, that does it for our video today. These are, again, the OXO Grape Cutter, the OXO Multi Cherry Pitter, the Velika Cherry and Olive Pitter, and the OXO Cherry and Olive Pitter. All different range of prices, ranging from anywhere from $8 to $24. The convenience of this, you know, is that it saves you a little time having to pit these by either hand or with a knife. So this just makes that process a little easier. Uh, if you're interested in learning more, we have the links to these on our website and we also have them available for demonstration in our lending library. Hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you next time.